All right, your attention for a second. Your attention for a second, OK? As of, as of the at-home section of lab one, anything you do in OP244 should be as follows, OK? Any time you create a header file, what is one of the names of the header file that you're supposed to create now? Tools. Tools. So I'll create a new item, OK? And I'm going to put over here tools.h. First of all, if, if you are creating a class or a structure, if you are creating a class or a structure which dictates what the module is, and this is for that class, the name of the, the, name of the header file must match the name of the class with capitalization, which means if the first one is capital, it should be capital. If, the, if, if it's camel notation, it has to be identical to what your class is. If it's not, see what the documentation say. In our lab, it says tools all lowercase. So it has to be all lowercase. So any header file that you create must follow these rules. First thing first, you create a safeguard. A safeguard happens like this, if not defined, And then you put over here define, and then you put an end if. So without thinking, this has to be done. For the signature of the safeguard, first you put S, D, D, S, all capital, because we are all writing in the school of uh, software design, yada, yada, yada. Okay? So whatever it is, the name, that's the abbreviation for it, S, D, D, S. Then underline. Capitalize the name of the header file, tools, underline, capitalize the H for header file, and two underlines after. Then do not repeat typing this. Copy it and paste it, because it's extremely important for these two to match exactly. That's number one. Number two, you write namespace. SDDS are lowercase and bring it down. So this is done without thought. This is an empty header file, a header file that you want to start coding and you don't know what you want to write. Anytime you create a header file, that procedure is taken. You don't need to think about it. That's, you should be able to do that with your eyes closed. That's what it is. Then you think what I want to do. If you want to include something, include something. If you want, whatever you want to do. Okay? Yes? So is this space S D S is just for header file or for That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm talking about header file now. I'm going to go to the CPP soon. Okay? And then if you want to include something, you include something in here. So, if, so in, you do you, you, you includes over here if, it's, if it needs one. And if you need to write some code over here for your header file, you put it in here. Whatever you do. All the code you author must reside inside the namespace. Anything you create, anything that is your creation, goes in there. For CPP files, when we are doing a module, that module has a matching name. So I'm going to add over here, new item. This one is going to be tools CPP, tools.cpp. Immediately after that, you have to add two things to start coding. An empty CPP file is a CPP file that includes its header file, tools.h, and then adds the namespace. That's it. You just created an empty module, a module that you don't know how to code. These stuff, so that's going to be on your quiz the next day you are coming in. A header file is called Heha. Uh, uh, create a module called Heha. You have to create the Heha.h with the exact same signature, so I don't need to tell you. Create an empty file for a module called employee. You have to immediately create SDDS underline employee underline h, create the safeguard, put the namespace in it, and that's it. All right? That's going to be on your quiz. So that's what an empty uh, thing is. 
when you are writing the main for something. So what is, where does the main go in your, uh, in your lab? It's cenograph.cpp, right? So cenograph.cpp. So we're going to go cenograph.cpp. In cenograph.cpp, you include whatever you have. I don't know what you want to include. Anything you need to, you include it. Then you write int main and return zero. And at top of this one, you write using namespace SVDS. So when you are writing a code, any code, any module you author, it has to be authored within the namespace SDDS. The main programs using those modules will use SDDS. It's not inside SDDS. Got it? Modules within the namespace, main uses the namespace. Modules within the SDDS namespace, main uses SDDS. Why it gives me an error? Because I don't have anything over there. As soon as I include tools, it's going to be OK. Be, there, now it knows. So if I say include, include tools, and that's going to go away. Now it knows what SDS is. So which one is after SDS? Pardon me? Using namespace SDS after? Oh, SDS or before SDS? There's another one using namespace SAC. Oh, S, uh huh. Anything that belongs to the system, another important thing. Anything that belongs to the systems, system com comes at the top. Never put it after. Always put the system stuff. So include IO stream, whatever you call it, IO stream, F stream, whatever you have. Comes over there using namespace. Using namespace can come lower. Includes are the most important ones. You can have using namespace anywhere, anywhere you are actually using it. So anywhere you are using the namespace, put using namespace. It doesn't have to be anywhere specific. It doesn't have an order. But, but, but your includes, your custom includes must always come after the system. OK? It is extremely important to follow that rule. All right? Uh, any questions before I stop the recording? on this? So for in-lab, you don't need to do this. I didn't ask you. For, for, if you do it, thank you. Or actually, if you do it, it won't work. If you put it in SDD, actually, yeah. For in-lab, if you do it, thank you, all right? For at-home, you have to. Otherwise, it won't compile, OK? Are we OK with this? All right.